Hey guys, once again I'm back with one of my new lecture where I'm gonna show you how we can shift a website from one domain to another domain. So this is my first website which is on domain1.carbonglabs.com which is of course a subdomain of my main carbonglabs.com domain and we are going to shift this entire website on a second domain that is domain2.carbonglabs.com so there's no matter whether these two domains belongs to the same web hosting or on the different web hosting this mechanism really works and even you don't need to access any kind of FTP or cPanel or you don't need to do any kind of manual database connection we are going to do all these things with the help of a plugin and this process is called website migration. It means you are shifting a website from one domain to another domain. When you are new to WordPress and you are working for your clients, of course, you will be building the websites onto the subdomains or on staging domains. And later on, you have to deploy the entire website onto the original domain. So this mechanism helps you to build a website without making it live onto the original domain. So let's get started. So open the WordPress dashboard of the first website. I'm just going on to the wp-admin and this is the first website that we need to migrate on to the new domain. Now go to the plugins and then click on add new and in the search box we need to search for updraft. So this is the best free WordPress plugin that can help you to create the entire backup of your WordPress website and download it onto your computer. So here is the first plugin updraft WordPress backup plugin. Just install now and then activate okay so this plugin has been installed and activated now under the settings we can go on to the updraft plus backups option and here we have a very big button backup now just click on this button this pop-up will be visible click on this last option only allow this backup to be deleted manually and then click on backup now so this will take couple of seconds or minutes to create the entire backup of your wordpress website as you can see here is the progress bar all right so the backup has been created let's click on close now scroll down on this page and you will be seeing these little buttons database plugins themes uploads and others so these are five important backup files that you need to download onto your computer just click on each of them one by one all right now you can see these options for the database download to your computer the same is for plugins themes uploads, and others just click on these buttons one by one and download these files onto your computer. So I'm just creating a separate folder onto my desktop. And we can download each of these files one by one. Alright, so all five files are downloaded as we can see at the bottom of my Chrome browser. Now the job of first domain has been over. So just close the first domain. It's time to log in in the WordPress dashboard of second domain. So just go on to the wp-admin and login into the second website. It's time to upload all these five backup files in this website and this is what we call restoration. But in order to migrate the website, I mean both domains are different. So everything needs to be updated like database files and everything. So in that case, we need to use a premium version of updraft. So simply go on to the website that is wp-scratch.com. And here you can get a very huge discounted price of the plugin that we are going to use. In the search box type Updraft. So that is the first plugin Updraft Migrator. This is the premium version of this plugin. If you search on to the Google and we can go on to the Updraft website and we can check the pricing of this premium version. Here we go. So you can see Updraft Migrator cost around 30 bucks. But on the WP Scratch you can get it for just 10 bucks. So just to buy it from here, I have already bought this plugin and this works for complete one year. Even after one year also, you can use this plugin on n number of websites, but you will be getting one year free updates if you get it from WP Scratch. So that's up to you whether you can get it at a discounted price from WP Scratch or you can directly go on to the updraftplus.com website and you can buy it from here. So that's up to you. I mostly use WP Scratch for all my premium stuff. So let's go on to the second website. And then we need to go on to the plugins and then click on add new. So when you will be buying this premium version from WP Scratch, then you can go on to the add to cart and download the file. So this file will be downloaded onto your computer. So go on to the add plugins and here don't search in the search box because we are going to upload the premium plugin. So here you need to click on upload plugin button. 
then go on to the choose files and locate the file onto your desktop. So I have this plugin over here. This is in zip format. You can see updraft. Just open it, install this file and then activate. All right. Now again, go on to the settings and then click on updraft plus backups. Now it's time to restore the backup files of the first website. So we don't need to click on this backup now button, but scroll down and here you will be seeing this option upload backup files. Just click on it and then upload all the backup files that we have created with the first website. So I'm just selecting all at once and then click on open. All right. So these files are now uploading into my WordPress website. All right, guys. So all five files are uploaded over here. As you can see, database, plugins, themes, uploads and others. And the backup date was 13th of June 2020. So that is the today's date when I'm recording this lecture. Now here you can see this restore button. Just click on it and then select all these checkboxes one by one. At last click on next. Wait for a couple of seconds. Okay. So here we can see there is a warning. This looks like a migration. So make sure to check this checkbox. So the database will also be updated. At last click on restore. This will work perfectly because we are using the premium version of updraft migrator. So that works very well. Here we go. So the restore successful. Let's click on restore to updraft plus configuration button. Okay. Now. Remember when your migration is successful and we have migrated the first website into the second one. So the login details of the first website will be active. The second website login will not work. So here we need to enter like. So this was the login details of my first website. Just click on login and here make sure it is domain two. This is not the domain one website. Okay. At last you need to click on delete old directories. Now let's check the front page of this website, this second website. So guys, you can see here how easy it is to migrate a website from first domain to the second domain with just few clicks. You need to use the updraft plus premium version and that's all. And you don't need any kind of cPanel or FTP access. If this video was helpful, please hit subscribe, like and leave your comments. Thank you very much.